uh, finger bolt or lightning of death or disintegrate yourself. I mean, those are all excellent choices, especially, <laughs> especially finger, uh, finger bolts. Mm -hmm. Some refuse to believe the many awful accusations against you. Others would gladly believe them, but it would require a new crusade against you. And that would mean new sacrifices and expenses coming out of their pockets. And others are entranced by you in a country that has been waiting war for a century. Many have thought about the benefits of eternal unlife. You gave them the right to express their beliefs out loud. Some would say your pernicious influence is corrupting Mendev. But in note, you still have strong political support across the social classes. And I'm not concerned with questions of ethics. The disaster has been averted, and that's all that matters. Are any living volunteers enlisted in my army? It is, and much more than one might think. Necromancy has never improved anyone's reputation, but it does promise immortality and undeath. You could use this to become more popular. Once they realize death magic is no longer so strictly prohibited, many Mendevians flock to Dresden to seek knowledge and eternal life in your service. Ooh. Suddenly popular? Popular? What, what, what was that? I... Yep, yep. Just editor, remove that from the tapes. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> Did the paladins, priests, or other adherents of the faith allow this? Let's just say that before the Fifth Crusades, there were many more devout people in the capital. Many of them went on the crusade, and here, before the walls of Dresden, as well as in East, they... Um, I need not remind you of their fate. At any rate, it's, it isn't easy to imagine a better time to be a rabble-rouser in Mendev. Okay. Should we expect trouble from Nersin? Not yet. Nerusian will continue to provide us with supplies and recruits. The world will remain a threat and we are their shield. Ha! <laughs> yes, I could convince their nobles to support an army from Abaddon if it came here and woe to protect the capital. Okay. Let's, um... So Nursian first demanded, but now is asking? The situation in capital in the capital must be really grim. You're absolutely right, Commander. I admit the Royal Council hasn't shown you the proper respect and amicability. I brought I myself brought this to their attention on numerous occasions. But trust me when I say that no one of them wished you ill. All and they all shared unshakable belief that you were the savior of our nation. Okay? What is the situation in the capital? The Royal Council, Her Majesty's most trusted civil servants and public officials have long been in conflict with many powerful Mandivian aristocrats. The former had connections and influence. The latter had their family names, riches and personal armies comprised of mercenaries, sworn knights and commoners. Okay. For many years the strife was latent and civilized. Coercion, bribery, intrigue. But the nobility spotted an opportune moment. They decided to overthrow the clique of dignitaries that has usurped royal power. That's what they call the council. A series of arrests ensued, but uh, the royal council found its own supporters and retaliated. Currently, numerous aristocrats are assembling their forces in the capital. The Supreme Court building now serves as the base of operations for the new royal council formed by the leaders of the nobility. The old royal council is holding Her Majesty's castle, the treasury, and the guard headquarters. Every so often, skirmishes break out in the streets. Many civil servants have left their workplaces and the townspeople are fleeing the city. The capital is paralyzed. So... Chat, I don't fully remember all the the politics, but hold on. Nerosian is an opposition group to 
Well, I mean, they're opposed to the queen's power. Is she, are they not? Men, Mendev needs our help. Okay. The Royal Council and know me have faith in me. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Lady Konomi is from Nerosian which is a city and is Mendev a region and then disgruntled nobles are picking a fight with the royal council that is has that something to do with the queen I have not been paying enough attention to all of this. Why is the writing? Without Her Majesty's steady hand, the capital has fallen into decay. So you're talking about Nerosian. Some are settling old scores. Others have discarded new opportunities. Mendev is accustomed to following a highly respected leader. The only one who can protect the throne from greedy hands is you, Commander. Okay. Okay, I, I feel like I need to do a quick uh, goggle here to see what Nerosian is. Okay, so Nerosian is the Polis city of IMA? IMA Day? And Mendev is a nation. Okay. And their whole alignment is lawful good. Okay. <clears throat> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so this is not the same... Region as Galfrey in. Wait. Okay, so. Queen Galfrey is the queen of um, Mendev. And she's siding with the nobles. I mean, not the nobles, the, the royal people, obviously. Which is why Darren is saying to side with the nobles. So I feel like supporting the nobles will weaken the position of the queen, making our job of global world domination <laughs> easier provide valuable relic from the treasure what? okay so what is this robe robe of angelic prudence oh wait plus for bonus to charisma and wisdom ability scores nanny but we wouldn't use that over our thing on Emily. 
but it would probably be good on one of our like undeads who get health from stamina. Family jewel, I mean heirloom. Whenever the cloak of wearer of this cloak of resistance plus five lands a killing blow, all enemies in a 15 rate foot radius must pass will saving so or become blinded. I mean that's pretty pretty strong, especially when dealing with hordes of small things. Supporting the Royal Council will get a plus 15 competence bonus on persuasion as well as all lore and knowledge skill checks. What? Uh, uh, am I like, am I just. Isn't that like all kinds of hacking broken? Like, never fail a, a check again? All generals gain plus seven to power. Adds a hundred thousand finance points, ten thousand materials points, and four thousand energy points. Okay, chat. I I mean, I've been waffling on for, like, about how we are going to take over the world, and I feel like... Even though I want some of those items, I feel like we ha this is the play we need to do for our strength. The queen, she forsake us. She brought this on herself. Actually, what is which is better? This, like, mm, it's three or five, right? And three is so discord and discontent in the enemy. Or five. Openly declare war. Well, I mean, independence, but you, we, we, we know how that's going to end, right? Ooh. If the game... Here's where I... Where I, where I worry. I feel like the game might be, or the story might be written so that this is, an, is like a coup and putting somebody else in charge there. And this is just like, oh, heck, we gonna fight. So I feel like we have to do five. Yep. Get out of my fortress, Konomi. Lady Konomi's tone becomes obsequious. But Commander, without your aid, Manda will be consumed by uprisings. Much blood will be spilled. Furthermore, you will be cut off from any support from the capital. In the midst of an insurgency, Organized deliveries will become impossible. All you can hope to receive in such circumstances is the help of servants of the crown who are sympathetic to your cause. And their numbers grow smaller by day. Am I being chaotic stupid?
Like, if we don't do this now, how many more opportunities are we gonna get? It is a very stupid decision, chat. But it is my stupid decision. Go. Lady Konomi nods ruefully. So be it. Farewell, Commander. Despite your decision, I wish you good luck and hope that foreign powers will be able to supply your troops and resources. I will make haste for Nersian. Right now in the capital, every experienced negotiator is worth their weight in gold. What do you know? Not much. Okay. Okay, chats. Uh, we we did it. I won. Wherever my legs carry me. I, did I put the stuff away? I did. Did I? I did. Life deliver. What is this? Wait. Allows the wielder to cast healing spells as though they had to reach spell feet. Okay. I mean, we already do that, but I don't see why we. Oh, you had that, but then you lost it? I I don't know. Just... It's fine. Forwards! No, backwards! Backwards! Okay, actually, where, where are we going? Where are we going? Eliankas and Septimus troops are on the outskirts of Dresden. Waging an endless war. Okay, so we should be able to do this. Uh, which should be just outside the gates, I believe. So now we want to s try new party friend. Actually, let's uh, put these in a different order here. Yeah, very excites. Actually, we should probably rest because we have some Trail. fatigue on on um, Wendy. Mythic brew potions. Oh, did I not take the thing? <laughs> The caves are so hideous. Doesn't their appearance simply snuff out any carnal desire? You think the face has anything to do with it? Your face, for instance. The day I touch it is the day I squeeze the life out of you. Fair, fair. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Everybody's all rested up. And this is not the squad that I wanted. Okay, let's put them in the appropriate order here, I think. Yeah.
Okay. Battlefield of the Dead. Yeah, I think this is the first place we're going to. I think this might be the node we need to go to. Someone is on the road. That did not take long. Chief Soul. That old rapscallion. What's he doing here? Chief Soul slowly, barely moving, a formless figure shuffles towards you. When it finally draws near, you realize it's Chief Soul. But the state of him, the wound has desiccated him, drained him of his last vestiges of strength. His clothes are caked in blood, his eyes are glazed and rolling in his head, and black saliva trickles from his limpy, gaping mouth. Wenda grabs her weapon. What would Sol be doing here? Is this an illusion? Some kind of trap? You're alone? Where are the other mongrels? Shavamuk. His lair. They were all there. Where is Shavamalke? Sol gestures vaguely in the direction he came from. There. After a quick examination, Wendy says bitterly, It's no use. His brains are fried to, from the heat. We need to get him to heal in prison right away, or he won't last long, and I still need to question him properly. What are you doing here, bro? Sol stares at you for a while, as if he doesn't recognize you, but his awareness slowly sharpens. Commander, to Dresden. I'm going to Dresden. Need to gather Reshu. You're going back to the drawing board, atrocious. Your build is not working. Oof, I'm sorry to hear that. Who does? Who does he want to rescue? The pack? My pack. Saul, you know where my warriors are. Answer me, you old duffer. Oh, jeez. So we have the option to just spray it up and this man. Or we can let him get there on his own. The problem is, if he dies, we lose out on intel. Right? So let's, let's get into Dresden. Thank you. Commander? You're you're the commander. Need to go to Dresden. There we'll talk there. Okay. We did not get far from Dresden. <laughs> God damn it, we're back in here. Uh And right the fluff back in we go. <laughs> Wherever my legs carry me. Talk to Sol in Dresden. Okay. Where is he though? Here. New. Actually, ghost friend, how are you doing? Forwards. No backwards. Backwards. Soul is looking better, his wounds have been bandaged, his gaze is more lucid, and yet he's still not the same peaceful old man you left in Dresden. His haggard pale face bears the mark of emaciation and death. The commander is back? Sure am I, and I can't believe it. Stop wasting time. We need to know where my pack is, and I don't even think and don't even think about dying before telling us everything, old man. You have a chance to serve your tribe one last time. Don't squander it. Okay. 
Where is Savamalek? Yes, there were ruins. Tem Ballet of Templish, he called them. He said something about a shitty hanging over a rift. An ancient city. City hanging over a rift. Isn't that is? No, it's near is. I know that place. I heard about it from Hosilla. I saw it marked on maps. It's near Is. A good hideout. A tangle of ancient ruins. You'll surely use, lose your way without a guide. But I can lead us through. I can pick up Savamalek's scent from a mile away. Ah, oh, fine. Five. Mm. This is one of those. Is it showing strength and winning Wendog's respect? Or is it alienating her? What happened while I was gone? At first, nothing unusual. We were just living our lives. Then the whole tribe got stricken with something. It was like a disease. Your arms ache, your legs shake. It tears you from the inside. Nobody knows anything about it. And then one night we all woke up. I can't remember what came next. I remember opening my eyes and walking out the gate a guard stops me and I say Lady Anivia orders he doesn't believe me and I just grab him and I don't remember I really don't like a nightmare it was I remember us walking a long way I remember the white eyes of a demon people screaming it's sickening to remember People screaming. Savamalek performed his ritual again. His communion. He gave you bloody meat and his poison. Yes, he fed them human flesh. And when that wasn't enough for some, he would sting them with his poison. Those who survived became something else. Okay. Alright, we'll bring your people back. No one steals my pack and gets away with it. These warriors belong to me. And anyone who tries to steal them will die a horrible death. Excuse you, girl. They belong to me. As do you. Maybe you can't. Maybe there's no bringing them back anymore. Whoever's poison is poisoned forever but seeing them before I go even like that would be a blessing oh no you're not coming with us old man that's not happening quit yapping and save your strength we still need to last long enough to witness me restoring our tribe to its true glory I need you around so I can rub your nose in your old coot casting a gloomy troubled look at Wendog She'll turn to you and half whispers. There's something else that's gnawing at me. Please, Commander, find some time and come see the old man. We'll talk then. Well, let's leave the area and come back in. I hope that Wendy has moved and then we can continue um, the discussion. And I promise chat, we are gonna... <laughs> we are gonna fight soon. Death's Embrace? 